All right, we're going to talk about something called macros, M-A-C-R-O-S. A macro is simply something, a routine or a process that you've recorded on your computer to automate a task. So what you want to do is record something you're doing on the computer, and then you can play it back later if you want to do that very same thing again. So, for example, you could do this in Microsoft Word if you wanted to apply certain formatting or do a, a task like insert a table and do some things with that. If you're doing that in Word, you can do this in, in, in Microsoft Excel. You can do this in Google Sheets. And we're going to be doing using Google Sheets today to show how you can you can do things uh, and have Google Sheets record what you're doing. And then you can play that back in order for uh, Google Sheets to perform that task. It's a way of automating things so you don't have to do the same sort of repetitive task over and over again. So to do this, you should have already created a copy of a file like this, and you should first of all put uh, NFL teams by your name, insert that in there. Um, I don't remember the exact name you were supposed to have, but you can read the instructions. Uh, that's what I've got my for mine right now. So this is just a little spreadsheet that shows some NFL teams, football teams, how many wins, how many losses, the total number of games they played, uh, and that is just adding up the wins and the losses, and then the winage, winning percentage would be you know, the wins divided by the total games. It's not important really what um, this spreadsheet does, but um, because I just wanted to give you a spreadsheet to start with, and then we're going to record a macro and play that macro back. So let's say that every week you get a, I send you, or the NFL sends you a spreadsheet that looks like this. Maybe it has all the teams in the NFL, and they, but they send it to you in this format. Or you download it in this format, which is kind of what you just did. You downloaded this document in this format and you don't like the way it looks. So what you want to do is you want to format it so it looks a little better. So this is all about formatting. So we're going to we're going to, for example, come in here to row three and we are going to you know, make these these uh, bold face, these these column headings and maybe wrap the text and so forth. You know, you can go up here to wrap text and you can wrap the text. We're going to do all that, but I don't want to do it right now because I, what I want to do is record me doing it so that I can apply it later when I get a new um, a new file and I, uh, from from the NFL, let's just say. So I'm going to go ahead and, and record what I'm uh, uh, how to what I'm going to record me formatting this particular um, spreadsheet and then we'll play it back later. So in order to do this, what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and click in A1. And I'm going to go up here to extensions and I'm going to go because this is an extension of uh, oh, Google Sheets and I'm going to click on record macro. OK, and it's going to start recording, but it's what is it recording? It's not recording me talking. It's not recording what's going on the screen right now. It's actually going to record what I do and where I click and what I type in Google Sheets. So when I, I need to be careful what I'm doing here. If I click off of this, if I click on some other things, it will record that. And then it may not work for you when you try to play the recording back. OK, so we're going to go ahead and use absolute references. You can also use relative references. Uh, that just means um, with absolute references, you have to be it'll use it'll apply the same things to the same places. Uh, every time. If you use relative references, you could start in a different place in the spreadsheet and it would do it relative to there. But we're just going to use absolute references for now. All right, so I need to start. It's recording right now, but I haven't clicked on anything. Let's just go through a few things we want to do. First of all, let's click on this. Be careful when you're doing this because it's recording. I'm going to click on row three right there at the head of row three, and I want to make it bold face. So let's make it bold. All right. I also want to wrap the text and I've got my window kind of small here. Um, so it, it continues on with the more button. You click that and you can go down here and we'll wrap the text and notice winning percentage is now wrapped. I'm going to also change the column width. I can automatically set the column width by double clicking right here. I can get right in between. I'll double click right there and it will change the column width between A and B to the to a certain amount based on the size of the team name. So I'm going to double click that and notice it changed. So there's more room in here. And then I'm going to double click right here between B and C. See how it turns blue. It's recording what I'm doing. So kind of be careful. I'm going to double click it and it changed the width of that column. I'm going to double click here and change that. I'm going to scroll this one over. I mean, pull this one over by clicking and dragging it over and it'll wrap the name there. And the last thing I want to do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and 
select this um, these set of cells, and I'm going to apply um, uh, percentage formatting. Okay, so I'm going to format that as a percentage, and so it should look like this. Okay, well look. This is how I want it to look every time when I get a new spreadsheet, I want to be able to just do what I just did to make it look this way. And there's several ways of other ways of doing this because we can we can actually paint formats and so forth. But this is one way I can do it. So I'm ready to save my recording. OK, so I'm going to click on save and it's going to ask for a name. I'm going to give I'm going to call it initial formatting. OK, and I can give it a, a shortcut. I can say control alt shift and one, for example. Um, and then when I when I want to apply this formatting, I can do control alt shift and one. It's a shortcut key. But I'll show you another way of doing this as well. We're just going to call this macro uh, initial formatting. I'm going to click save. And it says saving new macro. The macro has been saved. Um, so we've got this macro associated with this particular um, spreadsheet now right i'm going to undo everything i just did okay I'm, i've got the recording i'm not undoing the recording it's already recorded what i've done okay but i'm going to do Control z is my favorite way of undoing you can use this button right here i'll do that i guess i'm going to undo the things i've done all the way back whoop, i'm going to redo that all the way back i still want my name changed in there all right so let's say i get a spreadsheet in it looks like this and I have to talk a little bit about how you get the macro into that because it is it, it needs to be in the file that you get. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. I want to do this. I want to I want to let the computer do what I just did. So I'm going to go over here to extensions. I'm going to go to macros and I'm going to notice now I've got initial formatting as a macro. I didn't have that before, but that is the macro that we created. So in order to carry out the macro, I'm going to click on initial formatting. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it, I'm not sure if it's still in this window, but it says a script attached to this document needs your permission to run. Macros can be a little bit dangerous. They're a program. And if you created this little program, um, that's that's fine, but it, you can also import macros and things like that. So you want to make sure that you trust this macro, this recording, because it's going to play back and do things to your your um, your spreadsheet here. So I'm going to click continue because I'm good with this one. Now this is one you can't see, but I'll have this in the screenshot. It says choose an account to continue to to do this. So I'm going to click on um, my account, James Kamak. And it tells you, whoa, you're about to let let this macro do something on your computer. And we're going to go ahead and do allow that. So click allow. You can't see it, I don't think, in this recording because it's in a different window. You click allow. OK. And then um, I think I think we have to allow that once. Let's try it again and let's go to macros and let's do the initial formatting. Now watch what happens. Watch watch the magic that's going to occur. My my spreadsheet will magically be formatted using the little program, the little set of process, the process, the procedures I just recorded. Boom. Did you see it happen? Everything, the, the, the column widths were changed. Everything was changed. Do you see that? So what I've done is I've recorded a macro and I played it back by coming up here to extensions, macros, and then clicking this. And it did those things that I recorded. So a macro has now been created for this particular um, spreadsheet. So I will have to talk to you a little bit later about how you can get this when you do get a new spreadsheet in, how you would put that macro into it. But essentially, it would do the initial um, the initial formatting for you. So that's how you would create a macro. Now, to turn this in, you're going to need to um, create me a link to this particular um, file. And I'm going to you can do that by clicking this up here at the top and clicking copy. And that's what you'd turn in in um, in Blackboard for this assignment. And then when I grade it, I'll come in here and I will need to see if I can see um, your macro and your initial formatting macro should be associated with that file. All right.